Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about the latest Sop Jazz 39 Gripen E fighter jet produced is handed to the Swedish Air Force and goes into operational testing. Three aircrafts in total were handed to the Swedish Air Force. The Jazz 39E is the latest and the most modern variant of the Swedish-made combat aircraft. This is based on the Saab press released on October 20th. The latest Gripen E is the enhanced version of the older Gripen C and D multi-role aircraft. The full commencement of deliveries to the Swedish Air Force is expected to start in 2025. The first Gripen E had its inaugural flight in 2019. The support and training system for operation and maintenance of the aircraft has also been successfully delivered, according to Saab. Sweden is set to acquire 60 Gripen E based on the latest contract. In Brazil, the future second biggest operator of the aircraft also initially ordered 28 Gripen E. According to Saab, 30 Gripen E aircrafts is in production. 24 is expected to be completed annually in Linköping, Sweden and the others would be produced in Bernardo Campo, Brazil. The Gripen E is slightly larger than the C variant, and it can also accommodate additional 30% more fuel. The Gripen E variant also incorporates the enhanced F414 GE 39E engine, and the aircraft would have 10 hardpoints. One of Saab's great strengths is their capability to rapidly replace and enhance onboard computers to keep in pace with the aircraft's increasing processing power. But the latest Gripen variant of ENF will use a new ASA radar. This increased the Gripen's high altitude air to air detection range by 150% and up to 140% for low altitude targets. This allows the aircraft to carry air to air and air to ground missiles more effectively, like the AIM 120CM Ram, the AIM 9X Sidewinder, and the MBDI Meteor. The Jazz 39 avionics are fully integrated by using. MIL STD 1535B Digital Sensor Fusion. The Gripen is designed to work as one component, which allows automatic exchange of information in real time between aircraft and the ground components. This can be achieved using a highly advanced data link system, air data computers, radar altimeter, and GPS to continuously calculate the Gripen's location. For countermeasure, the Gripen has electronic warfare from Thale Spectra to counter threats from almost any type of missile, infrared homing, radar homing, or terminally guided missiles. The jet has a maximum speed of Mach 2 or 2,100 km per hour, combat range of 800 km, ferry range of 3,200 km, G limit of plus 9, service ceiling of 50,000 feet, a maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kg, However, the aircraft didn't try to incorporate stealth design characteristics, according to Saab. That's because they believe in the future's rapidly evolving nature of software and hardware technologies. They think stealth aircraft would be increasingly more detectable in the future with better radars, so they focus more on improving the aircraft's performance. This is evident on the manufacturer's strong emphasis on advanced electronic warfare capability for the aircraft. The Gripen is designed to be swiftly deployed in any weather on large or small airports, and it can even take off from regular highways with very little logistic requirements needed for operational use and maintenance. It is also designed for rapid deployment and quick turnaround, and then take on another sortie right after it finishes its mission. In short, it is designed to be a low-maintenance, cost-effective, and dependable combat aircraft. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.